Russian authorities confirmed that an August 23rd fatal plane crash killed Wagner Group leader Yevgeny Prigozhin. He was listed as one of seven passengers and three crew members aboard the doomed flight, all of whom were reported dead by Russian state media. Investigators said Sunday that they identified Prigozhin's remains in the crash. Russian Investigative Committee spokesperson Svetlana Petrenko said through molecular genetic examinations, all 10 reported dead in the crash matched the listed flight sheet. The fatal crash came two months to the day after Prigozhin led a failed mutiny during which his mercenaries drove to within 200 kilometers of the capital Moscow. Prigozhin's Wagner mercenaries had been fighting alongside Russian troops in the country's war in Ukraine. At the time, Russian President Vladimir Putin had this to say of the boldest threat to his reign since he took power nearly a quarter century ago. What we are facing now is treason, unreasonable ambitions and personal interests led to treachery, state treason, and betrayal of our own people and common cause, which Wagner fighters and commanders fought and died for alongside our units and brigades. What caused the flight carrying Prigozhin to fall from the sky remains a mystery, but the Pentagon recently shot down one theory explaining the crash. We don't have any information to indicate right now. Um, the press reporting uh, stating that there was some type of surface-to-air missile that took down the plane. That we assess that information to be inaccurate. And while Putin has yet to publicly take credit for involvement in Prigozhin's death, U.S. President Joe Biden says it's unlikely to have happened without Putin's blessing or knowledge. Officially, the Kremlin denies having anything to do with downing the plane, as it now continues waging war on Ukraine without one of its key cornerstones in the form of the Wagner Group led by Prigozhin. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.